So these, the original Exodus Ultra, are one of my favorite trail running shoes of all time. I've run hundreds and hundreds of miles in them, in training, but also in some tough races. And actually, in this particular pair, I took them out of the box when they were brand new, and I ran 80 miles at Endure 24. I, I couldn't quite believe it myself. I, I ran that distance, I had no foot issues, no blisters, not even a hot spot, which I think you'll agree is pretty impressive. However, when it changed to the Exodus 2, I still really enjoyed running in them, but maybe I did prefer that original shoe a little bit more. Like I say, still perform well. I actually used this pair in Ultra X Scotland 110 the other weekend where we ran 110 kilometers in some pretty tough terrain. And again, no issues at all, no foot problems, no blisters, nothing like that. So still a shoe that I really get on with. However, we have just had another update to the Exodus Ultra 3. Yep, finally, I've got my hands on a pair of these. So in today's video, we're gonna be giving you the lowdown on Sockin' his latest trail running offering. Then I'm gonna be lacing these bad boys up, hitting the trails of Cornwall and giving them a thorough testing. Welcome back folks, hope you are all fit and well out there today. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So whenever there's a, an update to a running shoe that I've really enjoyed running in, there's always a cross your fingers moment, as I'm sure there is with a lot of you guys at home. And the Exodus Ultra has had a pretty big update this time round and it's pretty much a brand new trail shoe from the ground up. We've got this new upper design, a new midsole setup and a new outsole layout. So the latest version retails here in the UK for £155. So unfortunately, that is a small price increase of £5. My pair in a UK 9.5 tipped the scales at 323 grams, which I was really surprised about because the shoes definitely feel a lot lighter than that in hand. They run on the same 6mm heel offset as the previous version, but we do get a deeper stack height of cushioning. So we've got 36mm at the heel and 30mm under the forefoot. As far as the construction goes, let's start off with this new midsole setup because that's kind of where the big changes have been made. So the shoe still comes with that brilliant dual compound midsole that you got in the original Exodus Ultra and the V2s. So we've got a core of Sockney's performance-based Power Run PB foam. That's the same foam that you'll find in their performance road shoes, you know, shoes like the Endorphin Speed and the Endorphin Pro. So nice and light, well cushioned and high energy returning. And then that foam has been wrapped in socking his slightly more durable and stable power run foam. This time around, like I've already mentioned, Sockini have added a bit more depth of cushioning, but they've also made this profile of the midsole a little bit wider, especially at the midfoot of the shoe. We've got some deeper sidewalls as well. So we're actually sunk down lower into the shoe this time around than in previous versions. And this is all about trying to improve levels of stability when you're running on more challenging technical trails. Uh, to be honest, I never had any issues in the previous version running that type of terrain. But, you know, I think the, the deeper sidewalls and that wider midfoot should help when it comes to stability. And we've got a slightly more aggressive rocker geometry worked in there as well. Again, this is to help with forward momentum, but also efficiency over distance. When it comes down to the new upper design, it's a pretty standard looking upper. So we've got a, a well padded, gusseted tongue, good levels of padding around the ankle collar and in the heel. And if we take a closer look at the heel, it's the first time I've seen a sort of flared heel design on the Exodus Ultra. Uh, we're seeing that in a lot of running shoes these days. We got some structural overlays starting at the heel, around the lace eyelets, and then wrapping around that toe box, just to give the upper a bit of substance and a bit of extra durability. A handy pull tab on the tongue and on the heel, a little gaiter loop attachment down the base of the laces, so really handy if you do run with gaiters. And then finishing off, we've got some nice reinforcement in the toe in the shape of a protective toe bumper. And then flipping them over, we've got an updated power track outsole. Sockney claim that this new blend of power track rubber is going to offer us 
Better levels of grip when we're running in wet conditions. But we've got a very similar 4.5mm lug pattern on the outsole that we had on the previous version. And if you look closely, just poking through that outsole, you can see Sock and his brilliant flexible rock plate worked into that midsole under the forefoot. But there you have it, the latest version of one of my favourite trail running shoes of all time. I think that's enough of me talking because I've really been looking forward to testing these out. I actually tried them on indoors just to check the sizing and I've got to say it, they felt great on my feet. So I've got real high hopes for these. So without further ado, let's get out on the trails and let's take Sock and his new Exodus Ultra 3 out for its first run. So we have made it to the trails, came a slightly different way tonight because I really wanted to test the Exodus Ultra 3 out on, you know, a, a long section of road and a longer section of compacted trails. So we've done just under three miles because the Exodus Ultra has always been a great shoe at crossing over to lots of different terrains. And, you know, the new version of 3s felt great on the firmer stuff. Also, it just seems to be one of those shoes that works really well for me, just like the originals and the twos. You know, I've taken it straight out of the box and I feel like I could run 80 miles in it like I did in the originals. Uh, I'm not sure my legs could run 80 miles, but the shoes definitely feel like they could handle it. And speaking of legs, they are feeling a lot better on today's run. So the other day I took the new Nike Zagama Trail 2 out for its first run. And if I'm honest, my legs were feeling a bit heavy, a bit tired and a bit tight. So definitely going out on that run, shaking the legs out really helped. I've also got a sports massage tomorrow, so that's really gonna make a difference. Uh, as far as sizing goes on the new Exodus Ultra 3, I would say just like the originals and the twos, they are true to size. So I've got good length in the toe in this UK 9.5. And as far as width in the toe box, very similar to the previous versions. So we better crack on. It's a lot later than I wanted to get out. We've had a busy Sunday getting videos ready and trying to put together the race day videos from Ultra X 110 Scotland. So what, well, it's gone six o'clock already. So uh, let's crack on, get this run done. Like I say, we're just shy of three miles. We're gonna try and get in seven or eight miles in the new Exodus Ultra. So let's get on the towns and see how we get on. Maybe someday when I've grown most dangerous stairs but they've got to be the silliest stairs that's for sure okay we are heading for home and so far the run has been super positive I can't believe how good my legs feel you know it's only been a week since we ran the 110k of Ultra X Scotland I've been doing lots of recovery stuff, putting the Maya pumps on, rolling, massage going and all that. And it's definitely made a difference. They feel great. And I haven't even had a massage. So after tomorrow morning, they should feel even better. And really positive on the shoe front as well. So it's felt comfortable on every type of terrain, upper super plush, really wraps around my foot nicely. 
Although at one point I did have to stop, retie the laces because I, I felt like I was losing that sort of midfoot lockdown. I think it was just because I didn't tie them tight enough at the start of the run. Since I did that, the shoe has been fine. So like I said, really positive on every level. We're gonna hit the tarmac and we've, what, seven miles in our legs. We've probably got another mile till we get home. Liga is cooking a lentil chili, one of my favorites, and I am starving. So let's get back to the studio. I'm gonna have some dinner and then we'll wrap this video up with a quick conclusion. Okay, so I ended up getting a little bit carried away out there tonight and ended up running just shy of nine miles. So 8.97 miles to be precise. I think it just came down to the fact that my legs were feeling way better than I was expecting and the Saucony Exodus Ultra 3s performed really well. So I ended up running too far out and then it took me a lot longer to get home. And unfortunately, that meant I was late for dinner, but the lentil chili still tasted awesome. I would say that the new updates to the 3s have made the shoe feel and perform slightly differently when I compare it to the two previous versions. And it's actually the perfect time to test this shoe out because I've just run 110 kilometers up in Scotland in the Exodus Ultra 2s. So this midsole out there on today's run did feel slightly firmer, still very comfortable on all the types of terrain I ran, but slightly firmer and maybe it didn't give me as much bounce as I got in the original Exodus and the 2s. Now obviously my pair of 2s have done hundreds of miles and they're nicely bedded in and this is obviously a brand new shoe. So I think that midsole did feel a little bit firmer on today's run, but still nice and comfy. I thought because you're sunk quite low in this new midsole that I'd really notice that on today's run. But I've got to say, I didn't notice it at all. However, I did notice this slightly wider profile to the midsole at that midfoot. You know, the shoe felt nice and grounded, nice and planted, but I'm really not sure whether I like that extra width. I think the new Exodus maybe felt a little bit less responsive, felt like I was running a bit flatter and it didn't feel as nimble as the previous two versions. You can see from the footage there that we had super dry conditions for the run, so no heavy sticky mud to really test out the performance of this outsole, but levels of traction were good on the soft sand and on the gravelly loose trails. This brilliant flexible rock plate that Saucony used in their trail shoes gave a great level of underfoot protection on the more rocky trails. So I think just like the previous two Exodus Ultras, this outsole is going to perform well when it comes to grip and traction on most types of terrain, but you're probably probably going to struggle a bit if you use them in really muddy conditions. And finally, the new upper design was very comfortable, just the right level of padding for me in that gusseted tongue around the ankle collar and in the heel. And this new engineered mesh felt like it gave me good airflow and it felt nice and breathable. Good hold in the heel, no slippage at all going on there, and a good hold around my midfoot. Once I'd got those laces set up and pulled down right, it does feel like I have to pull those laces down a little bit tighter to get a good lockdown around my midfoot compared to the previous two versions. So I'm not sure whether Saucony have added a, a bit of depth or a bit of volume to the midfoot of the upper. But all in all, it was a good first outing for the new Exodus Ultra 3. And you know, some of those new updates I really got on with and some of them I'm not so sure about at this moment in time. But you know, I have only run nine miles in the shoe. So definitely gonna be clocking up a few more miles over the next three or four weeks and then we'll be back on the channel with a full review. You know that original shoe was such a great trail shoe for me, such a top performing trail shoe that it's really hard for any other shoes to kind of live up to those expectations and I didn't really get that same wow factor running in these today that I got when I first laced up that original Exodus Ultra. And on that bombshell, it brings another first impressions video to an end here at Run For Adventure. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you've been running in a pair of the new Ultras, it'd be great to hear your thoughts. You know, how's the shoes performing for you? So definitely get in the comments below and let us know all about it. I've also got to say a big shout out to Peter from Saucony because he sorted us out with a new pair of the Exodus Ultras. So really appreciated. It is a great help. But for now, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. It really is appreciated. I hope you've got some great running adventures planned. We'll be back here very soon with some more exciting running content. And as always, stay safe and keep on running.
And the Exodus Ultra has actually gone for a pretty up, a pretty update, a pretty. It's gone for a pretty update. I mean, to be fair, it does look a lot prettier than these. So it is a pretty update, but uh, a pretty big update is what I meant to say.